First, the bad news. The bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Oh. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Hmm. We should go back out on the street and see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Um. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford, once again, I have to remind you, you have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay. That's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? How do we even know where they store their supplies? I used to watch them from one of the bell towers just outside the perimeter. I've seen them carrying all kinds of stuff into that old Catholic school off the town square. I think they're using it as some kind of supply depot. There's a good chance we'll find what we need in there. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. Uh. I can't lie to you, Clint. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Obi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. is gonna die, I promise. You can't promise that. No, I guess I can't. I'm sorry. I guess I 
should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Oh, God. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? No. Please no. No. I'm sorry. Okay. I choose to leave Clementine at the house. I think that was a good question. Or oh, yeah. Night in Macon. Oh. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break here. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? Took another look at the boat. So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Um, how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out fast. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, these are the jobs, too. Um... Okay. Plum time. Stay here with the gun. 